Welcome back once again, gearheads and guitar gurus, or is it the other way around? Guitar heads and gear gurus? I don't know. Anyway, we got a new one for you today. It's the Tone King Iron Man 2 Mini Attenuator. Something a little different than usual today. Now, this is a 30-watt unit from Tone King. These guys are based out of the United States. I believe it's New Jersey. They're right out of New Jersey here in the U.S. Quality stuff. It's not cheap. But you're seeing it for the first time with me, and there it is. You pop the top, boom, she's looking right at you. Pull it out. You see solid packaging here. These giant styrofoam deals hug the sides. Very protect, well protected. Pop those off. Plastic bag. And there it is. This thing is big. To give you an idea of the size, it's bigger than the palm of my hand. So, but this is a very solid unit. You could clock someone over the head with this and they are going down. This thing is heavy. It is solid. It, it feels like a tank. It absolutely does. Now, some interesting controls on this one here. This is a presence um, adjustment here, adjustment tool. Odd thing is, though, usually on attenuators, you see an, a presence boost of three, maybe six dB, like on Weber, the Weber Mini Mass plus three dB. 6 dB. This is minus 3, minus 6, in case you need to make a presence adjustment in the other direction. Seems interesting. Not sure how much I'll be making use of that. But range, high, low, that determines what dial you're on here. You can see the dial, low, high, and obviously what you have that set to, that's going to be your level of attenuation on that circle. Now this is interesting. The solo button. You could turn the attenuation on or off or have it higher or lower because you see so the solo ring has attenuation as well so now the weird thing about this is to have attenuation off you have to hit that button and it's got to be on zero the dial has to be here if the dial's anywhere else you're still you're still getting a little bit of attenuation yes i can talk sometimes so um it's a little strange there's no bypass switch but i don't think that's a deal breaker you can have it set to over here and then uh, you click it on, and then depending on what you're, where you're at, high or low, it's going to give you more attenuation there. Um, but to bypass it, you got to have the dial here, not there. Even on solo, you're going to get minus four. Now, this takes batteries or a nine volt. That is only to power this LED. That's it. This is a power-free unit. You don't need any power to run this. And um, yeah, that's only for the light, exclusively for that LED. So, line out for recording purposes and whatnot. It's an 8 ohm unit, by the way. Amp in, speaker out. And uh, 30 watts, by the way. This is only 30 watts on the Iron Man 2 Mini. If you have a 100 watt beast, even a 50 watter, you're going to want to go for the full size Iron Man 2. And that's going to cost you. Once again, these guys are not cheap, but this seems like very solid quality. And in the box, you're also going to get the following. Serial number, sticker, put that on the back or the bottom. Warranty registration card. And your manual. That's it. Very simple, no frills packaging here from Tone King. I've read nothing but good things about this though and look forward to using this with my Buddha V20. It's a 20 water and this should be perfect for that. So if you have like a, you know, 5, 10 water, 15, 20 water, uh, low gain, 25 water or whatever, you're going to be fine with this. Uh, this, will, this should cover your bases. You got a 50 water, you got to get the next big guy up. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm getting a little long winded here. But thank you for joining me today for this unboxing of the Tone King Iron Man 2 Mini. Hope you enjoyed it. Rock on, as always. See you next time.